Hey guys, so story time for a second here. Um, I just, I'm really weirded out by everyone else being weirded out by this. I don't know. So, uh, Sunday, this last Sunday, I had off, um, and I was just playing a game. Not doing anything, <laughs> honestly. Um, and, uh, so my husband had his break. He's got a 15 minute and then he gets a 30 minute lunch. Um, and the wind caught his truck door and slammed it and he has the only key to the truck which you may think is stupid kind of <laughs> but in our defense we went to get a copy of it and they were like oh it's like a hundred dollars or over a hundred dollars it was like a ridiculous amount of money for a key um because it's got the little computer chip in it anyway so we did not get a copy of it because he is the responsible one and not to say that's not responsible but i always lock myself out of the everything the house the car everything so, uh, out of the two of us, he's the, you know, the responsible one. So, um, whatever. It wasn't a big deal. <clears throat> and, uh, anyways, so, uh, he's on his 15-minute. It's, like, about to end. He's like, shit, my car door just slammed. My keys are on the, the seat. I can see him. And so even when we were on the phone, I was looking up, like, what do you do? Like, I don't know. Um, I was lucky enough that the, the cops in my area had a little inflaty thing that you could get it open um so it wasn't a big deal hey buddy you can't itch like that you've got precious little faces precious little kitty face oh he's angry because i stopped him from scratching anyways so um so that was that and uh so he works about 45 minutes away from where we live not terrible but a little track <coughs> So I remade his lunch because it was in his truck and I didn't know if the locksmith would able be able to like get there, you know, whatever. Um, I tried to start the process through Progressive, but they want you to like be with the vehicle, which makes sense, but I was not with the vehicle. <laughs> so, um, I'm there, I'm back on the app and, uh, pff, the whole thing maybe took like 30 minutes, honestly, which I was really impressed with for a Sunday. Um... So, anyways, so I get there, um, maybe, like, 20 minutes before his break in hopes that the locksmith, you know, can get started on the process or whatever. Um, so the locksmith ended up coming on his break, and it only took, like, 30 seconds. Hey, buddy! No hard itching! Baby! And it only took him, like, 30 seconds to get it open. Um, yeah, so it overall wasn't a big deal at all. The whole thing maybe took me... Maybe, like, three hours with the driving, because 45 there, 45 back, you know, like, 30-ish. Eh, maybe, like, 45 there. Like, physically there. Um, anyway. <clears throat> but it was my day off. I didn't, like, care, you know? Like, no, that's not what I wanted to do, per se, like, plan-wise, but I don't... I didn't care at all. Anyways. So, I told my coworker about this. The other day and she thought it was like the weirdest thing that I went there she's like oh my god you actually went there and you made him a new lunch why <laughs> it's like kind of joked and it's like ha ah, my tattoos are like three thousand dollars yeah yeah the first thousand and then I have two more appointments the next one is a thousand again and then I don't know what the last one will be but I'm assuming at least around 3000 for a tattoo sleeve. Um, so, you know, like, I think I can do him a favor or two. And she's just like, no, 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 like, don't sell yourself short on your, like, good deed. <laughs> I'm like, she's really sweet. And maybe that's why it, like, kind of took me off guard, too. Because, like, <laughs> I don't know. Am I the weird one that I automatically wanted to help? Like, he didn't ask me to make him a new lunch or to come call the locksmith. He was willing to deal with it the next day. Am I the weird one? <laughs> or does everyone else just hate their spouses? That's kind of what I'm getting the vibe of. There's, like, very few co-workers that I think truly enjoy spending time with their husbands. Or significant others, whatever. Just, they're you know, kind of middle-aged women, so they <laughs> more than happen to be husbands. Am I the weird one? So, now I'm asking 
random people on the internet. Am I the weird one for automatically wanting to help? Or is everyone else weird? I'm gonna go with everyone else is weird. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really baffled by this. So, hopefully you guys can help. Okay, thanks. Bye.